FORMER HILO WOMAN HAS BEEN CONVICTED OF MURDERING HER FOUR-YEAR-OLD SON AFTER REPEATED BEATINGS. THIS CASE HAS ATTRACTED NATIONAL ATTENTION NOT ONLY FOR THE MOTHER'S CRUELTY, BUT ALSO FOR WHAT PROSECUTORS SAY DROVE HER TO IT. PROSECUTORS SAY 25-YEAR-OLD JESSICA ANALANI DUTRO BEAT HER SON ZACHARY SO SEVERELY HIS ABDOMINAL INJURIES FORCED HIM TO BE PUT ON LIFE SUPPORT. BUT AFTER TWO DAYS IN THE ICU, HE DID NOT SURVIVE. THEY SAY SHE DID IT BECAUSE SHE BELIEVED THE LITTLE BOY WAS GAY. JESSICA DUTRO'S LIES ARE NARCISSISTIC AND OFFENSIVE. AND IT GIVES YOU A GLIMPSE INTO WHO COULD DO Something like this. The case unfolded in Oregon, where Dutro and her four children, along with her boyfriend, were living in a homeless shelter. After injuring the child, prosecutors say the couple waited much too long to get him help. Her concern throughout is for herself and her own skin and not her dying son. When Zachary was just an infant, he and his sister were placed in foster care on the Big Island for over a year. His foster mother, Kate Cruz, says he was so sweet, she nicknamed him the Kissing Bandit. Because he'd be playing, 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 and then he'd just stop what he's doing and run across the room just to get a kiss, and then hurry back to play like he'd never been there. And he, he just loved um, affection, and he, he loved to be tickled and, and chased, and... He was, he was just, you know, a beautiful little boy. The guilty verdict has brought Cruz some comfort, but she says she is still overwhelmed with grief. When the conviction came in, I was just a little bit of relief. It, um, I can't say that it's, it, like, is huge relief simply because it doesn't change the, the, the facts. The baby's still gone. Two of Dutro's other three children were found to be abused as well. All are now in the custody of other family members. Dutro will be sentenced later this month. And tomorrow there is a million march against child abuse taking place in 100 cities across the country. Here on Oahu, one of them takes place from 9 to 1 at Kalama Beach Park in Kailua. You're encouraged to come out and take a stand against this kind of abuse.